Interestingly, um, other big names uh, signing up for further spells with the club uh, that they're at. Trevor, one of them, notably this lunchtime, Luka Modric. Yeah. Uh, a one-year deal uh, with uh, Real Madrid. He goes on and on and on. He seems to get better and better, doesn't he? Listen, I've seen him outpace uh, Kevin De Bruyne in that um, semi-final against Manchester City. He's an unbelievable athlete. He's, um, I think he's he's got so much belief in his ability. Um, he looks after himself. You see him stripped down after games. Not a pick a fat on him. Just a top, top player. And he do, does it year on year. Not surprised Real Madrid wanted to sign him up because he was one of their best players this season. Christian Eriksen wants to put his bloody pen to paper at Brentford, by the way. Why? Why? Because no one else would give him an opportunity. And he and took so that, there's a, there's a he thing took called that, loyalty. No, he took that opportunity. And, oh, and he played well Terrible for the team. He wouldn't have done that. By the way, they were in trouble when he went there as well. That's as may be. So he kept they, them up. He was a big life. part of why they kept, in, he kept them up. Life called a, he went there and did his job. I'm sure he'll look at his footballer. options. And if it's the best thing for him, he should do that. But if it's not the best thing, then he should go to Manchester United or wherever he's going to go to. It's all about the individual. There is something to be said for integrity. I know it's something that's listen. I like I like the fact that he, he played for Brentford. I would like the fact. Went, I would like the he idea went to Brentford, Trevor, because nobody else. I understand. Would take you said him. that. You said that. I understand. So with that. that in mind, he owes them a and debt. I, I like and the he hasn't I, just repaid it by being decent in sixteen games. I like the idea that he would stay there, and that's my point. But and I hope he's he does. done so well, and he's an ambitious young man. But don't you I think, think there's massive? Awful, but if it, listen, if it's if it, awful. If it everyone was, else, everyone sits on the sideline goes, "We're not taking him because he's because he's a crock, right? We're not going to take him." Oh, hang on a second, he's not now. So what we'll do is we'll prosper on the back of that. Don't you think there's something awful about that? Don't you think Brentford should have the opportunity to have a bit of respect back from the player? No, I think the player should look at the, the clubs that are in for him and see how much integrity they've got no, but before, wait, but they before had rushing but they had to leave. None. They had none when they all wrote him off. They all said he's done. They didn't want him. So Brentford have, pr- have been proof of concept and their reward is to go, thanks very much, lads. I'm all right now. I'm off. There's something about that. You must no, see I think, I think, Listen, I do it's like the idea that he would stay there, but I just think this talent that he's got, he might get frustrated there. I mean, I, I, think think, the, I think the bottom line conversation, I, I go with Simon. I must admit, nobody okay, else came in. For, it then. Oh, nobody else came in for Ericsson. Uh, he's off. Go. <laughs> and I and I reckon, yeah, yeah. Christian, but, Christian you know, can do what Christian you, wants to do. You've also, but I think it, you've, you've also got a duty of responsibility to the club that took him on. Yeah, and I think he's already paid that, but with his performances playing okay. for Brentford but actually going into it he had a relationship with the manager I think that's the reason why he was probably given a leg up because the manager knows who he is what he's all about and if he says he's right he's right he got him in they did the test he signed him he played well for him he kept a big part of the reason why Brentford weren't in a dogfight I think he's already repaid that How should Arsenal fans look back on uh, Alexander Lacazette's time at the football club because we hear this lunchtime he's in Lyon he's having a medical today so it looks like he's going back to where he came from Lacazette Unfulfilled, do you think? I think it's it's been a little bit underwhelming. I think he's he's got a lot of integrity. I think he's he's been a man about the way he's carried on. I think he's stuck to his task. Um, not scored enough goals. I think he's a good hold up player. And I think as as a as a, a two up there with Abamyang when Abamyang was on fire, I think he played a real good role there. Um, but I think he's been a good influence on the young players. He's shown them how to act when things are tough. Um, so I'd say he, he can leave leave Arsenal with his head held high, but he's been a little bit underwhelmed when you come, when you think about his performance. But could have given them more in the time he was there, Trevor? Is that not a fair? I think argument? he would have got more goals. I think he, his his goal ratio wasn't probably where it wants to where he wanted it to be, and where the Arsenal fans and hierarchy wanted it to be. But it's not for a lack of trying. I think he's a he's a good player, he's a good man, and uh, yeah, he can leave the club with his head held high. They're going to have to recruit some strikers, uh, Simon. You would think. At Arsenal, obviously, uh, that yep. won't have gone unnoticed to them. But um, uh, Lacazette on the way back to Lyon, it would appear this lunchtime. Um, uh, your friend and mine, Aubameyang, well out of there and long gone. Yep. Um, in Ketia, yet to put pen to paper. All of a sudden, who are they going to get through the door? Well, I don't know who their targets are. I Jesus. mean, they're talking about Jesus, aren't they, from from Man City? I mean, look, they, they need to change up. They needed to change up for the captain because he was a waste of time. I don't care how many goals he scores at Barcelona. He'll revert to type. Lacazette's goals are one in three. That's not enough. You know, it's not enough. That's not enough of a contribution. So with that in mind, they've let his contract run down. They obviously think it's not enough. Um, what the young kid does, well, that's up to him. I don't think Arsenal... I mean, Arsenal spent 140 million quid last summer. Uh, they've extended um, Mikel Arteta's contract to give him some backing in that respect. I don't imagine they're going to leave him out of the tools. They finished fifth in the league this year. They're going to want to be pushing on next year. 
So I think he'll have an opportunity to clear a few people off the payroll. He knows Jesus, doesn't he? Because he worked with him at Manchester and City. And if he's the answer, he's the answer. Yeah. He's not a prolific goal scorer either. He's not. He's you not. Know? But I think... The only prolific goal scorer the, was a slob that went to Barcelona. In the right captain. environment, I think Jesus could be. And I think it's one of them where if you, if you, if you ask Manchester City fans, they half don't want him to go because they know there's, some, there's a player in there. And if, if you give him the right environment and he gets one in off his knee and he gets that little bit of club, club, yeah. uh, luck and it's the right the club. What? Five years? How long Four do you want to wait five. for then? Why yeah, did you have to It's 22, 23 years old, Simon. Simon. Because I think it's such a disregard and disrespect for the opportunity that you're given. You're the captain of this football club. You've made a production out of getting a contract and your payback for that was to try and do things in a way that was so deeply disrespectful to the football club that's put you in a position where you are regarded in such high levels, you're paid so well. It's not just about the money. It's about the level of influence that he would have had in that position. And he didn't seem to care. And it's seemingly that his football mentality is, well, as long as you do all right over here, we'll condone everything else. And I think he embodied everything that at times is wrong with the modern day footballer. Too much of one thing and not enough of another. And you think he'll fail at Barcelona? I think he'll revert to type because that's what he does. Of course, we all said the moment he left the door, he'll go to Barcelona and he will, dollars for donuts, score goals. But the moment something comes along that he doesn't like or doesn't fit his particular circumstances or doesn't fit what he thinks he's entitled to, he'll revert to type. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.